hello guys welcome to my channel where i'm going to be teaching you easy editing tips and tricks that are going to take your vlogs and your videos to the next level so if you're an editor or a youtuber or anything related to that this is for you so today i'm gonna show you guys one of my most used effect in all the videos that i edit not all i mean most but yeah it's so 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 common and the reason why i love this effect is because you want to end a song from a certain point that is not the end this effect can allow you to do that from any part of the song which is really dope yeah so if you like it leave a thumbs up comment you know you can even share to your fellow editors and yeah thank you so much now let's get on to it so now i have the clips on my timeline so unfortunately this is not a beginner's tutorial so if you're new to premiere pro i'm not gonna go into the depths of what i'm doing or why i'm doing but i'm just gonna focus on the main tutorial so if you guys want maybe a basic breakdown uh yeah you can totally comment down below and i'll do that so the next thing i want to do is just drag a song that i want to use for this effect so the good thing with premiere pro is that it shows you the the levels of the song so as you can see this song starts when it's pretty low pretty low and then it goes increasing so at this part you expect more beats than this part so if maybe i, I can play through it and this is important for the effect you're going to create so yeah see it's a bit low a bit low and then when you come here it goes like all the way that's when the the beat drops yeah awesome so what i want to do is i want the audio to start somewhere close to where the the song is gonna start going crazy and that's where i'm gonna add my effects okay maybe somewhere here and then i drag it so when we play through the the clip now man it's just some yeah yeah so let's add more clips so assuming this you can maybe assume this is your intro for a youtube channel maybe you have like a couple of shots following each other and you want them to you know follow the music and then after at some point you want the reverb effect so when we play through this we get the we get that So I want the audio to end. I want the reverb to come somewhere here. So what you do is you cut where you want your reverb. So you select, you cut the part where you want your reverb to happen. So for me, I want it to start from somewhere here. So I can delete everything else. Yeah. So we have this. Yeah so now when you look closely here you can see that you have numbered tracks you have a1 a2 a3 you have v1 v2 v3 so the v stands for video and the a stands for audio since this is an effect that is affecting the audio we don't need to focus on the video part so this part is not useful for now so what you need to focus on is this part and here let me extend this a bit so that you can see a bit better so here we have a1 a2 a3 and the numbering here is so important because this effect applies to an entire layer of audio so if we're selecting the third track it's called a track sorry so if you're selecting a3 for the effect no other audio can come to a3 because it's gonna sound so bad it's gonna be echoing all through so assuming we want the track to be on a3 so what i do is usually i put it in a track where i won't use so much maybe the last track if you want to add tracks you can just right click here click on add tracks audio tracks you want to add maybe two more press ok so as you can see we have two more tracks so let's do the effect on the fifth track yeah so you guys remember that we selected this clip over here that we want the reverb to affect so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drag that part to the fifth track so what i'm doing is i'm holding alt on your on my computer so if you're using uh windows it's alt 
and if you're using mark i think it's option yeah i'm not if correct me if i'm wrong but i think that's that's the button you need to press if you're using mark click your audio and drag it down to the fifth track so here we have track five and here we have our audio so you have to have both of them yeah and selecting alt allows you to copy so if you want to copy something on premiere pro you you click alt select then you drop yeah so let's undo that by clicking alt z so the next thing we want to do is to come to this window on your top left corner and select audio track mixer so if you can't see this audio track mixer just click on window come here to audio track mixer and just click it yeah the next thing you want to do is to click on this button over here so it's it's written show hide effects and sense so just select that and now you have like bars or i don't know what you'd call this but yeah you have this and this is what we're going to use for our effect every bar here belongs to a track in our timeline so this is for a1 this is for a2 this is for a3 a4 and we want to go to a5 because that's where we put our audio you know our duplicate audio that we want to echo so just come to a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 and then you have to select this drop down over here so when you drop it you go to reverb then you go to studio reverb select that and then you have your effect there already but now it's not good enough we need to adjust some settings so come here to the studio reverse double click it this is where we're gonna set now the figures now this is where you need to copy exactly as i do because this is what i discovered works best so what you have to do is here just write in just put 90 on your keyboard come here put 8000 early reflections put 55 width put 55 dry put zero and wet put a hundred percent yeah we don't need to go through all this so for now our effect is already done guys that's that's everything you need to know so when you play it yeah so that's a problem you'll realize so one thing i realized with this effect is that something has to be in to be in front of the audio you want to echo so for us our video ends here there's nothing else in front of it so it's gonna stop from there because premiere pro is being told that hey there's nothing else to play so you won't get that echo effect or that reverb so for that i'm gonna put my audio that i recorded in the house to just assist in this tutorial <laughs> nothing much so you're just gonna rotate i'm just gonna rotate it to put it into place yes good so now when we play it it's gonna sound something like this guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is ben and today we're gonna talk about food so i don't know if you noticed the echo that we just made so let me just play through that again so that you can be able to hear it yeah guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is ben and today we're gonna talk about food yeah so this echo is a really dope way of you know ending a song or ending a statement someone is saying but i have to warn you guys don't misuse this because it really sounds so bad when you use it a lot and it's so destructive it's only good when used at the right time so so anyway guys thank you so much for watching the tutorial i hope you learned something I hope I've been as eloquent enough and you won't get confused. I'm planning to start something for the beginners, so stick around, subscribe to my channel, more cool things coming through.